Hey guys, it's AK Figure, and um, today we're going to be taking a look at the not very new um, SH Figure Arts Captain America Civil War Iron Man Mark 46. I'm pretty sure it's the Mark 46. Um, yeah, it's a really cool figure uh, compared to Marvel Legends and stuff you're probably used to, or if you got figures like this, then you're used to that, but the articulation is really good comes with a good amount of accessories one accessory that I really wish it came with I don't know if it counts really as an accessory is a is a flight stand because you know it was Iron Man but um, yeah let's get into the accessories now, this Iron Man figure comes with a bunch of different hands one of them which is an open palmed hand I mean honestly you th I don't really know what this is for I mean, it's still cool to have it, but I mean, you'd think it would put that on his, put it like that on his wrist, but they're wrist ones. Wait, but the ones that go on his wrist like a repulsor. The back that's flat, and this one, you have to plug it into the side, so if you'd be like doing that, I'm, and I don't really know. So he comes with two of those. It comes with two repulsor shooting hands. And why it has a peg on there, you might already know. But the effect pieces, it has two different effect pieces for the hands. It has one of them, which I think is more of like a flying. You just peg that on. Looks pretty good. See, it's kind of orange and then kind of whitish at the end, and then it gets sort of translucent. So my voice is kind of raspy. I just woke up a little bit ago, but I decided to do a video. So yeah. And the other hand. I think it's more of a blast. It just kind of seems like it. See the effects kind of shooting out and then it goes straight out, which looks good. I mean, it doesn't look amazing. It looks pretty good though. So yeah, I like the effect pieces. And then it comes with two kind of open, more open-handed pieces that can just go on the side. And I like when stuff comes with this because they're not always like having fists, you know? So I just kind of have an open or relaxed or something like that. And it comes with two fisted hands. And really on this hand, you notice how much the, the forearm or hand or whatever you want to call it, hand guard, kind of goes over it. That hurt if you got punched. Um, and then it comes with two other effect pieces. These are the boot rocket effect pieces. You take a look at the figure. You see at the bottom of the feet, there's little pegs. And you can just peg it in there. And there's a little bit of a gap there. I don't really mind that if you start like pulling it around stuff. But yeah, I see. It looks good. It gets more translucent down like the others. So, yeah. Alright, now looking um, closer in some details of the figure. See the mask, it looks good. See the neck, it's on two joints. One thing that's kind of annoying about this figure, um, you tilt the head up in a flying clothes or something, there's that gap there. So, I don't really mind that, but if you do, that might be something can, to consider if you're going to get an SH figure or Siren figure. Um, the eyes, sort of like a, a dark, translucent dish kind of thing. I don't know if it shows up that good on camera, but yeah, you come down to the chest, it looks good. Um, to the arc reactor, which is kind of like a silverish, to the little intake kind of things up there, and see the details. They painted a little blue on the mini arc reactors. Which they could have painted a little blue on like the the main arc reactor eyes or something. I don't know. Here on the arm. Um the shoulder. Shoulder armor or whatever. Um moves on its own. It's connected to the arm, but it doesn't it's not like stuck on this side too. So yeah. And you come down and see more of the arc reactors. Looks good. See the forearm. 
go to see the midsection. It's kind of separates when you move it. Sorry if that's a little close. See the legs look pretty good. Pop them back in. Yeah, let's take a look at the back. Looks pretty good. Yeah, let's look at articulation now. All right, so if you're familiar with uh, SH Figure Art line, SH Figure Arts, I mean, sorry, line, you probably know the articulation's gonna be pretty good. So you see the head goes up a good amount, goes down side to side, um, all good. Arms can go about that much. I'm just gonna shift in and out as you see there. Um, swivel there, double jointed arms. And then swivel out the wrist, it can move up and down. So that's why we have these kind of shooting pieces with the flat ends. Sorry, that can just pop on like that. And then, yeah, um, waist articulation can move around like that. Um, the chest can kind of move around, but it's kind of limited because of the shape of the piece underneath, so it kind of like stops it. Legs can drop down. So they go out about this much, which is pretty good. And they go back this much, which is pretty good because Marvel Legends, you know, sometimes, most of the time the legs are pretty limited. And then legs can go out all the way here if you have it fully out, if you wanted that. There's a swivel, double jointed knees, which should look pretty good. And then um, foot articulation, good toe articulation. Also, this little panel here is articulated. I don't know really why. And he does have ankle pivot, but if you first get out of the thing and it seems like he doesn't, just it's, mine was, I think, kind of a little stiff when I first got it out. So, yeah, and um, standing this guy is pretty easy because um, you might think, like, he's probably all plastic, but his legs down here are actually die cast. And I'm not lying if you got the figure, and they will be, you can tell. So, um, yeah, let's compare this Iron Man to a couple other figures in my collection. Here's Iron Man up alongside the Captain America Civil War Marvel Legends War Machine Mark III. I believe this was the, the Target exclusive two-pack with the orange and bluish purplish Iron Man Mark 27 disco armor figure. Um, so yeah, here is next to the Marvel Legends um, Vulture Wing Build a Figure Wave, um, Tech Suit Spidey next to Iron Man, and um, yeah, I think the height's pretty good. Maybe Spider Man should have been a little shorter, or more like Iron Man's a little taller. But if you wanted to, you could just kind of like chop the the legs down just ever so slightly, so he'll look a little taller. But I feel like the scale between Scale between them is pretty good, you know. So, yeah. Now, here he is to the very recently released um, Cyborg from Justice League DC Multiverse Steppenwolf build a figure. And um, if you're wondering where I got that, it, just go look at your target if you want some. Because, um, yeah, they're releasing kind of right now, or Toys R Us, whatever. Or, I don't pre orders up online and stuff. But they're out now so you can just go look for them and um, I'm not sure how tall Cyborg is really going to be in the movie considering it's not out yet but I feel like that might be around accurate maybe a little taller but close enough and here he is next to the Guardians of the Galaxy volume 2 I think it's the Titus wave um, correct me if I'm wrong um, build a figure it's Drax and um, yeah looking at this kind of stuff Iron Man SS figure arts are a little shorter, so, but if you want to put them in your Marvel Legends display, that's what I have, um, pose them around to look fine. And here's Iron Man next to the Hot Toys movie Deadpool figure, so yeah. Alright, overall, I like this figure a lot. Um, the articulation comes with a good amount of accessories, maybe wondering how he stood up there, that's on um, a DC collectible stand. Um, so, yeah, um. Make sure to comment down below what reviews you want to, want me to do next. Maybe that Deadpool, maybe Spider-Man. Also, 
I'm going to be getting the Man Thing wave very soon, which you know to other people might be the Marvel Knights wave, the Netflix wave, Daredevil, Punisher, all that good stuff. Also, um, DC Films, Batman, getting a bunch of stuff really soon. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see a bunch of other cool reviews and stuff from my channel. And um, anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, all that stuff, and see you in the next review.